I want to talk to you about the acceptable use policy for students when they're using Google Apps. It's very, very important that students know this policy like the back of their hand. Um, when designing um, collaborative documents in Google Apps, documents that are shared among many students, it's best practice not to share one document with the whole class and give them editing rights. It's just too many people to keep track of, too many people editing the, editing the document at one time, and you're going to have yourself a major headache. Instead, I would suggest small, having a document shared with smaller groups of students. In this case, I have five. Now, if they want to work collaboratively, it's much easier if you have a smaller group and you assign them each their own workspace. So Jim does all his typing here, Sally does her typing here, and so forth. So Kathy shouldn't be typing where Amy's supposed to be typing. And it's important that you teach kids they have to uh, respect one another's workspace. So let's just say Jim is typing in here that he likes to go to the beach. Kathy, I'm sorry, Sally. And one thing that works well as a deterrent to make sure that students follow the accepted use policy is the revision history tool. Let me show you how that works. I'm going to go to the file tab, revision history, and it's, it says that at 147 uh, I was typing on it. Now if I go down here to a more detailed revisions, then I can see what it looked like at different times. So here's what it looks like now. Here's what it looked like. Here's what it looked. Here's what it looked like two minutes ago. Now, if I want to close this and I want to do more typing, let's just say that I delete Outer Banks. Now, if I go back to revision history. I can now see the progression of the document, including where Outer Banks, Outer Banks was deleted. Now let's just say I had Jim, Sally, and Steve all logged on. The revision history could show me that, let's just say that Kathy was the one who deleted Outer Banks. And if someone makes a change where they shouldn't be making a change, mountains and let's just say and drag racing as a joke I can go under revision history and see where that was changed so the green means I was the one that changed that this also um, is helpful let's just say you want to go back to an earlier version of the document I can then let's just say this is where I want it I can restore this revision and then that way all those other changes that were made are now deleted. 